Hey everybody, I'm going to give it a few minutes. Let's see if anyone's here. Hi Cheryl. Sorry if my arm moves a lot. Hi Dana. Hi Molly. Let's see, who did I miss? It went by really quickly. Hey. Hey everybody. Hi Dana. Hello. Hello everybody. I know it's been a while. I'm trying to test my... <clears throat> Um, internet connection and um, kind of give you guys an update on my craft room. It's been so long and I think I'm kindly getting the idea of what I want. Oh, you, you, I'll show you my desk, Dana. <laughs> it's a mess. It's always going to be a mess. Um, but my husband and my father-in-law put this system up for me and I wanted to show you guys that it's a simple system that they had in their in their closet but their closet is going to be uh, remodeled and stuff so they gave me the system and I think it actually works so yes absolutely I use it a lot so thank you so much Dana for giving it to me so here's something I wanted to sh okay, let me see where I can go from um, so these are rubber made closet um, What's, what is it? Rubbermaid Closet uh, Organizers. <laughs> uh, it wasn't this clean. It was much worse. So now I am kind of, uh, kind of, since they did all this work, you know, I have to kind of keep it clean. <laughs> so I have my desk. And this is not the final way it's going to uh, be, but this is what it is going to be for now. So let's start on this corner. Those are some drawings. My kids like drawing and they just like putting it up on the wall. So there's Landman and, and all these superheroes that they love doing. This is all my chalk couture stuff. I put it in this corner because that bag right there and that bag, they both carry all my, uh, when I go to shows, when I do shows, they carry, I put it in those two bags so I can easily transport them. But that's some of my chalk couture stuff. Oh, my finger is getting it all weird. Um, oh, clear picture. Yay. Awesome. Okay. That's the step stool that I needed because we did all the stuff, but that's just a little TV that I have. And I have a little fan. I have the Wi-Fi extender there and my cleaning supplies. Cause I just literally, I keep, I have to mop and, and, and kind of sweep in here because, uh, the dogs make it, Kind of messy sometimes. The chocolate stuff is all over. Well, mine was too, and I just recently did this, so this is why it's clean right now. So I do share this space with my kids, and um, so this is their kind of bookshelf um, with their costumes, their treasure X. If you have kids, you know their treasure X. <laughs> so, and then all my cleaning supplies. I need to work on this a little bit more, but. For now, that's what's going to be. Oh, let me move my trash can <laughs> so you can see this other spot. Okay, so over here I have my vinyl, um, all my Cricut vinyl and my... Hi, Carrie! Hi, everybody! I'm sorry if I missed anyone. Hi! Um, I have all my vinyl in this little... Uh, what is it? From Michael kind of thing. Um, and this dresser is, you know, um, some back, a little bit of backstory. Um, we are in the process of building our addition and we went from living in a four bedroom, two bathroom place to a dining room. <laughs> so the four of, uh, oh, sorry. The four of us are sharing one space. It's, it's been tough, but so a lot of our like bedroom furniture, this was our, my bedroom furniture. Or one of them is being used in my craft room for now ideally I want like all um, uh, work surface all along this wall but for now I'm gonna use what I got and and just kind of go with that but I know if you guys use what you have you will be able to organize it it doesn't have to be my mother-in-law just taught me this it doesn't all have to be the same I like all the same but I had to compromise with this and I really like it. I like the setup, but 
So I have my scan cut right there. I have my um, printer right there. And then I have my Cricut right there. And all these, I labeled all of these drawers. And so I have, let's see, mini ink cubes. I have baby wipes because I need them a lot. Um, I hope I'm still showing because I, I don't see anyone talking. So hopefully it's still broadcasting. Um, I see I have Versafine, Clear Ink. So all my inks pretty much are here. Um, and my cutting mats and some of my Cricut. Okay, cool. Awesome. I wasn't sure if it was uh, here. So this is just, that's a furniture mover thingy. <laughs> okay, awesome. These are uh, more of my kids just, oh, thank you for the super heart. How sweet. Um, some of their games that they play when they're in here um, while I craft. And then this is my son's desk. Uh, my my daughter doesn't have one yet because she's not in school, but Anna, my son, is. So we wanted to give him a desk to work on. So they have a de he has a desk and a gumball machine. <laughs> uh, Captain Underpants, if anyone knows Captain Underpants, they love. Yes, they use my purple tape. They used a whole roll of my purple tape. They didn't realize how special it was for me. And because I label everything, my son decided to label everything as well. <laughs> so he, he um, wrote out some labels. And he also drew, since our name is Lancaster, he uh, wrote that out and he wanted to put it in the room. I know, right? It's, it's kind of the problem that I have too. It's like, I'm never satisfied. I'm always wanting to add or take away. Um, <laughs> so it's always a um, struggle here. And I want to go back a little bit so I can show you this part. Um, from this side, I have, remember, this is a work in progress still. I haven't finished everything because a lot of this furniture is actually going to be in our house but the house is not built yet because permits take forever apparently and a lot of money. <laughs> so I have these two um, cupboards that my mother-in-law gave me and I love them because those are, I'm just stepping all over everything. Those are amazing for storage. Like they really, really are amazing. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you some of the things I have in here. So, I have my cardstock mostly in here. And the reason my cardstock is in here, backstories, all backstories, all these other side stories for me today. Um, recently, this room has a tendency to flood. Uh, that's gonna be fixed when the house is built because we're gonna have better drainage. Um, but right now it does flood up sometimes. Not flood like to the, you know, to your ankle or anything, but seeps little bits of water. So my car stock was on the floor and of course it got wet. So I decided I'm going to just fix that and just put all my car stock in the safest place I knew. So I have, um, let's see, I'm gonna try to hold that open. I have my, some of my car stocks up here and then I have more, the 12 by 12 ones up here. Um, I'm trying to hold this open. Sorry guys, if I'm making me dizzy. So, my 12 by 12 is there. My my jewelry making is there. See, this is not organized, but it's kind of in one general spot, so I can kind of get to them when I can, uh, when I need them. I have my punches right here. That's just some paperwork I have, but mostly punches and like my laminated. So stuff that I kind of tend to use at the same time, I kind of put it together. Um, let's see. This has another part two. I got a lot of Stampin' Up! stamps from um, a friend of a friend who passed away, sadly. So I put, I organized all my Stampin' Up! Uh, stamps up there. So I know that's just a cup that shouldn't be here, actually. It's a cup I made. Um, so <laughs> as you can see, not organized, but kind of, you get the idea. I have my, I've been trying to make balloons, so I have balloon making supplies. I have my 
Right? Yes, you do, Dana. You know exactly where it came from. I have um, some of my uh, things, wooden signs I work on right here. So I have it. Um, I have more, let's see, more stamps in these. Hi! Hi, everybody! Hello! Um, just giving a little tour of my uh, craft space. I have my reinkers and my um, alcohol inks and uh, let's see my Nuva drops that are all a mess but they're there. Um, and down here I have a little bit of space to do something with stickers and junk. So this bottom thing is junk. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, Oh, and also I love doing this. I need to utilize as much space as possible. So the door, I put like one of those command hook things and I hang my big cutting mat and uh, my Cricut cutting mat because it doesn't fit anywhere else. So let's close this. And I showed you kind of a general idea of this. This is just kind of some books. I really need to work on this a little bit more because I want to make it prettier I guess. <laughs> I want to add like little cards or whatnot that I make uh, to just kind of be more appealing. Um, so I have all my adhesives right there. I have my scrap paper which I need to put closer to my desk, my chalk couture, um, stencils and more stencils. Apparently I have, I actually have three stencils. Look at this. I'm so silly. I have a whole box for those stencils. I don't have a whole lot of stencils. But I have all my markers over here and over here, a drawing I did. So I want more of like my crafting items in this. Um, some of my ribbons, my cards, so it's easy to get to. Um, and I want this top part to just all be displayed at, uh, as well. I made this, I, I wrote, hand lettered it today because, you know, it's New Year. So I figured I would do that. Um, these bas baskets, I just literally installed it today, so it has, I don't know, it doesn't have anything useful in it right now. It's just all the junk that was on my desk I needed to put away. But they are amazing. Um, this system is not as expensive as systems we see, so um, it was kind of great. And my, my in-laws had it already, so it was even cheaper, because it was free. Uh, and. Uh, it really isn't that expensive. So I know there are prettier systems out there, you know, not everyone likes the wire mesh or the wire um, storage systems, but it works. I just wanted to show that it does work. See that? That's not clean. That's a big old mess right there. Um, and this is by my desk. So I have my little vacuum cleaner that um, I like to pick up some little bits and pieces of paper um, and then I have some embellishments that I keep and some drawers I have some cardstock and I don't oh I have random stuff but it's mostly uh, blending tools and stuff like that close to my desk so I work right here this is pretty much my work station um, and I was working on a project earlier so that's kind of why I have everything there but so this is my workstation oh and all this this is this shows what a that i'm a crafter this is all child couture ink that i need to clean up but <laughs> that's what i do um but right by me i keep some of my pen um because i use it all the time i use all these pens and pencils all the time um this is what shouldn't be in there Right in front of me, I have some of the like essential, essential stuff I use frequently. So a roll of paint. Um, this is my big old roll of uh, foam tape. This is my scoring tool. Some scissors that I have. Uh, you know, just things I, I reach for all the time. On this, I showed you this one that had the pencils. This one has all my blocks and all my like stamping tools and uh, yeah, so anything to do. And the ink pads that I use most frequently. So I use these two all the time. So I keep that right near me. This one has, since I was, 
I was part of Mamie design team and um, I no lang longer am just because I wanted to, I, I have too much going on at the moment and I wanted to kind of focus more on my kids. But because I was, I had all my Mamie stamps over here because I would use them and I had it in alphabetical order. So I no longer actually need this, but I may still keep the system. Um, so I have that. Let's see, and on this side, I have embossing folders, and then I have uh, dies on the bottom of my uh, Sizzik Big Shot, or yeah, the Big Shot, so, and a Wonder Woman thing there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is where I record and all that, so that's why all that has to be there. This is, this is what I could uh, save from the the purple tape uh, thing that my kids did. <laughs> taped, taped all their drawings with my purple tape. It's a new one I have, this roll. Um, but I could I saved those so I can reuse it. And yeah, that's, that's it. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a real quick update. I don't know how quick it was, but I wanted to give you an update and kind of show you my workspace, my happy place. Um, and to see if my internet works. I think it worked for the most part. So hopefully I didn't cut off or break off or any of that stuff, but I will try to scope more. I was inspired today because there's so many people scoping. So I was like, why not? Um, but I will try to scope more. Now that I have more of a sense of how this room is going to be, I feel so much better. I feel like I can actually craft. I can take a deep breath and craft. But thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Have a great night, and uh, thank you, Molly. Um, yes, I will hide my purple tea. <laughs> um, happy New Year. I keep forgetting it's the first. It is all Happy New Year today. So I hope your year is filled with happiness and joy and lots of crafting. I can't wait to bring... Um, some crafting ideas to you guys on my YouTube channel. I'm really inspired and really encouraged to do some videos. So I hope I will uh, see you guys there. Um, have a great night. Bye guys.